Two transport planes carrying more remains of the victims from the downing of flight MH17 arrived in the Netherlands on Thursday. While the process of identifying the recovered bodies gets underway, some remains are still missing back in eastern Ukraine. Tony Chang reports security concerns have slowed the progress to find them. This is now one of the largest crime scenes in the world, with wreckage spread over more than 15 square kilometers. But at this stage, one week on from the crime, just a handful of investigators on site to examine the evidence. But with 98 bodies still unaccounted for, the search must go on. Our role here is to just, uh, as I mentioned, uh, our efforts are to ensure the dignity of the dead, um, the dignified management of the dead, and the fulfillment of the rights of the families. And as I said, we call on all concerned stakeholders to uh, ensure that this work takes place um, in a timely manner uh, by professional teams in line with best practice. The fault is not theirs, but the progress has been incredibly slow. Although rebel fighters who had stopped access are now cooperating, their presence is more of a hindrance than a help. And as they're the main suspects in the crime, it's disturbing they now stand guard over the evidence. But despite clear tampering with the wreckage, the investigators are still finding very significant clues. We will report uh, in our report tonight that some of the uh, materials we saw and that we have photographed um, feature significant puncture marks to the fuselage, um, almost a piercing mark. Um, again, we're not aviation experts, uh, we're not forensic experts, but um, this is something that we felt uh, needed to be carefully photographed and documented. But careful documentation is not being done and cannot be until the area is secured. And currently all that secures the scene is a thin line of plastic tape. The accident investigators, one week after this plane came down, are finally getting to work. They're here going through the wreckage on this hillside, but it is an enormous task. They're going to be here for many months to come. And there has been the suggestion in the last couple of hours that their security might be provided by 50 Australian policemen who come in and lock down the area. For the travellers who packed aboard this crowded airliner one week ago, no inkling that their journey would end here. But for the families and loved ones left behind, still a desperate desire to see their deaths properly investigated and their remains laid to rest. Tony Cheng, CCTV, Eastern Ukraine.